A big crowd's out at Folsom Lake tonight with a record breaking snowpack. That lake is now nearly full, but there's also a large amount of water being released downstream. So tonight we're getting answers on a plan now underway to store more water in the lake and how that involves raising Folsom Dam. It's a Memorial Day site not seen in years. Look how high the water is. You see a sheet of blue out here, so it's it's quite nice to look at. Folsom Lake is currently at 116% of its historical average. Look at this, like, this is what we wanted, this is what we've been waiting for in Sacramento. Lake levels are so high, water is being released from five of the main spillway gates at the top of the dam. It's crazy watching water just run out like that. Boaters and swimmers are loving having a full lake as we enter the summer season. This year it's right up against the edge, so it's it's nice to be able to come out and recreate and have it so close. But after years Years of drought and water restrictions, some people are sad to see so much water being released. We're just flushing all this water down the river, so it'd be nice if we could store it when we have an abundant year like this. Now efforts are underway to help store more of this water during wet years. The U.S. Army Corps of Engineers is working to raise Folsom Dam by three and a half feet. The plan also requires raising these eight earthen dikes which surround the lake's perimeter. Work has already been completed on one of the dikes, and this year construction is beginning along the western shoreline. The project's primary goal is to increase the Sacramento region's flood protection, but it will also allow Folsom Lake to store an extra 42,000 acre feet of water. I think that's fantastic. Um, I don't think California has really added a lot of water storage, and our population just continues to grow. Raising the dam is a beautiful thing. We need to keep the water in Sacramento. It would be nice to have more storage capacity. Now the Folsom Dam project will cost nearly $500 million and work is scheduled to be complete by the summer of 2027.